What in the world is that? Who are these people? What the heck? I've never seen something like that before. Unbelievable, I'm going crazy. Don't worry, we mean no harm. We're only here to help. Don't even bother. There's no hope for us at this point. Doctor, haven't you noticed anything? What? These are turtles. So? Talking turtles. Oh, that's questionable. Yeah. Don't act like we can't hear you. What does us being turtles matter to you? Don't come to our planet and start throwing around judgments like that. Besides, you've no right to judge us when you all look like that. Now, I don't know what brought you to White Island Planet, but I don't want people like you around here. So leave if you're going to have that judgmental attitude. Speaking of judgmental, Eden, don't be so quick to judge. There's no need to jump so quick to assumptions like that. They haven't even got a chance to introduce themselves. Breathe. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to introduce myself. I am the Doctor. I travel all across the universe in this blue box here called the TARDIS. Bollocks! And the rest of you? Hi. I'm Jolt. I'm a traveling companion of the Doctor. I'm here to assist him, basically. But I usually just end up asking questions and talking smack. And I'm Canine. I'm usually here to give information and make comments. Hello? Nice to meet you. I Dang, I didn't even notice you. I'm Nick. I was rescued by the doctor. My purpose is basically the same as Jolt's. They're all full of crap. It's nice to meet you all, and I welcome you all. I'm Doily, and this is Leona and Eden. Great. Now, if you wouldn't mind telling me where I am, that would be cool. You are on the planet Rotcod. Our species are dying. Ever since the Pond's disease broke out 105 years ago, our species have been slowly dying. There's only like 10,000 of us left now. Used to be around 4 billion. Harsh. It's a shame because just when the disease broke out, our greatest scientist, Croy, who is responsible for, the most, for most of the planet's technological advancements, made a cure for the disease. He told everyone before he released it, and the general public was hyped to say the least. But before he even released it, he decided to test his intelligent boost potion for some reason. And it worked, but it had a harsh side effect. It made him evil, purely and simply evil. We were able to find this information out because we found the intelligent boost potion ourselves, but ran it through some tests before trying it which is what Croy should have done. Needless to say, none of us drank it. Though, I wouldn't be surprised if Eden took a sip. Anyways, after Croy drank it, he left with his assignment and we never saw him again. The jerk left a note saying that he took the cure with them and wished us good luck. That was a mouthful. Luckily, we have access to Croy's famous lab because we are established scientists. There used to be hundreds of people in this lab, but they all died. Most of them were old. We are the last remaining. Wow. Oh yeah, and about 70 years ago, we decided to lock ourselves in here to stay safe from the disease. We've been in here ever since. How long do you guys live? We can live up to a thousand years. I'm actually 963 years old. I'm getting there. Lionel's 335 years old, and Doyle's 668. Dang! You're older than the doctor, and he regenerates! Wait a second. I think I know this scientist you speak of. 